Seeing a business opportunity in the extensive wasteland of Berlin city centre, combined with a booming demand for organic produce, two entrepreneurial Berliners set up an urban farm right in the middle of Moritzplatz. With little gardening experience, Robert Shaw was a documentary filmmaker and Marco Clausen worked in bars, the duo see themselves as planting the seeds for a better quality of life. Berlin is changing very quickly in the last few years. There was a lot of empty spaces in the city, especially in the center because of the war. But there are still places left like this. This is 6,000 square meter in the center of the city. And our idea is to use this vacant lots and create something new. Marco and I, who started this garden, we're not, we're not gardeners at all. What we were aiming for was to create an environment in which knowledge can be kind of informally exchanged. Well, it was one of our main main issues from beginning on. We don't rely on fundings and donations, but be able to earn our own money. And that's why we've got the cafe here, that's why we sell the vegetables. And uh, for my opinion, that's important for a social project. I think the major difference between us and an allotment garden is that a lot of the garden today is a place to retreat, to get rid of the city. And we want to have like a constant uh, uh, communication between the garden and the surrounding and the city so that there's always interaction and new things are happening. It's interesting here because this place is quite on the border of some different social structures. So it's a funny mixture which takes place here, but nobody ever stopped here. And now suddenly it starts to mix here. Turkish and Arabian neighbors, they take on the garden pretty well. So it mixes all the time, like everybody's always together. It's more like the families who live around here come during the day, and then in the evening there stays more the, the younger people, people who want to have a coffee or a beer and sit around here and, and chill out a bit in the garden. They like doing gardening as well, but it's nice and easy. That's the best thing about it, really, because you learn so much in a sort of slower way that you don't learn in, in any other kind of area of life when, when you're doing garden and you make so many mistakes that you don't forget them. It's a different way of learning things, a slower kind of time management and I think people enjoy that. There's definitely a feeling that's going on where people want to do this themselves now, they want to grow things themselves, they just want to use what room they've got to just grow something and, and to be more in touch with that side. So my name is Heinz. Heinz Risse, I'm the beekeeper and the bees are very happy collecting nectar inside in the middle of Berlin. There's one trick for the bees, that they know at what time exactly, what time of the day uh, a flower produces nectar. So the nectar is always fresh, it's not able to pollute by the air surrounded here in Berlin. Therefore I would say my honey here is much cleaner than the honey in the countryside. We have a lot of separations in, in the city between generations, between different cultural backgrounds and I think what we learned is that a garden is really an instrument to bring people together, especially a food garden, because food is something we all need and we can all talk about and there's also a lot of pleasure involved in food and I think that's really important. This is the first real season and yeah, maybe it might even be our last one in this place because um, I mean that's the concept whenever this place is going to be sold we're going to move on and go somewhere else I don't think it's bad if we have to move like in November gardening season will be over we'll take the whole garden into a theater and carry on doing gardening there the concept is be mobile and it's it's gorgeous to have that moment of creating something with the neighborhood and with the people who live here together for Monocle, I'm Saul Taylor.